So Charles Bean, Charlie Bean, now Professor of Economics here at Tennessee, but longtime Bank of England man, Deputy Governor, Monetary Policy Committee, Chief Economist, and even the Financial Policy Committee. Knighted for services, it was said, to monetary policy and central banking. Did you ever feel, looking back on your time, that you were a not very successful tamer of a giant and unpredictable beast, the economy? Well, the funny, funny thing about my 14 years at the bank, the first half was uh, almost the most stable uh, period in the UK's economic history. Inflation never straight more than a percentage point from target, steady growth. And we thought we had everything cracked. Uh, and of course, the second seven years went quite to the other extreme, uh, the deepest financial crisis really in our history. And of course, it wasn't just a UK crisis. Uh, it was a, a global financial crisis. Yeah, I think you say we were not sufficiently cognizant of risks building up in the financial system. That sounds like a kind of very polite way of saying we didn't know what was going on. Well, uh, Bill White was right. There were guys telling you and you weren't doing it. Well, I think um, people at the BIS like uh, Bill White and Claudio Borio, um, they were certainly warning of some of the risks that were building up uh, associated with build up of debt. Uh, and in fairness, actually, our own financial stability report also highlighted some of those in 2005. Um, but I think it's fair to say nobody, and that would include Bill himself, uh, foresaw the, the true nature of the tsunami uh, that hit us because of basically all the interconnections. But the trouble is, we never know. I mean, here's you in Darlington in March 2014. Now at last, there are clear signs the economy is on the mend. And then at LSE, a couple of months later, certain elements of financial markets eerily reminiscent of what happened in the run-up to the crisis. So there seems to be a change there too. I mean, we don't know what went on before it happened in the past, and we don't know what's going on now with regard to what will happen in the future. Uh, being an economic policymaker makes you humble. What you have to realise is a lot of things that you don't know. And uh, it's the, th the things that you uh, don't know you don't know, uh, Rumsfeld's unknown yeah, unknowns, they're the ones which are, are really nasty. Yeah. And, and come back and bite you. Uh, things that you know about or that you have some idea about what's going on, you can take the appropriate action to deal with them. And, and when people say, oh, why didn't people see the financial crisis coming? If people had seen it coming, it wouldn't have happened because mm -hmm. people would have acted differently and hedged the risks. And so what we've got here, going back to my tamer, we say, you've got a military chief who's planning for the future war on the basis of what happened in the past. And sometimes I get the impression with the economists, no matter how magnificently engaged they are, or intelligent, or informed, they're working on assumptions that are bound by definition to be thrown aside when the new event happens. I mean, you, you've got a, 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 a set of case histories in the past, and that provides your basis for thinking about the world. You clearly want to make sure that you don't make the same mistakes as in the past. And actually, as regards the financial crisis, I think you would say uh, central banks, and particularly the US Federal Reserve under Ben Bernanke, really had learned the lessons yeah. from the past. They made sure they didn't repeat the mistakes of the Great Depression. But of course, as well as uh, avoiding um, making the same mistakes as the past, there's new problems that come up. There's uh, risks that emerge in financial crisis, which you, uh, you weren't cognizant of. So the things that went wrong in the financial crisis were partly to do with the structure of securities and uh, mm -hmm. so forth, and it wasn't repeating the mm -hmm. past. And as far as the UK goes, we didn't have problems here because there was a housing bus which led to lots of people uh, losing their homes or anything like so that. In, in some ways, the events that don't happen are the victories for forward planning. Yes, yeah. Looking back, 14 years, long time at the bank, mm. thing you're proudest of, thing you most regret? Well, the, I mean, the second is obviously the, uh, the fact that we didn't uh, see the uh, true magnitude of the financial crisis coming. And there's lots of people who will say with hindsight, oh, you know, I no, that's a regret. Fair but, but actually, uh, I mean, there is nobody. And if, if there's one person, there's a, it's a guy called Raghu Rajan, who's the governor of the Bank of India. Um, and in a, a, a presentation at a Fed conference in, oh, must have been 2005 or six, Alan Greenspan's valedictory appearance at Jackson Hole, 
uh, Raghu actually put his finger on some of the key vulnerabilities, but he is one of the few. And he's not you. What's the proudest? Uh, the, the conduct of monetary policy, I think, actually has been pretty good here. Uh, you know, particularly that pre-crisis period, um, uh, we generated a high degree of stability in the economy, leaving the financial uh, issues on one side. Um, and actually, I think we've done a reasonably good job of steering it through the financial crisis and all the various other um, uh, programs that we put in place, the uh, uh, special liquidity yeah. scheme to support the banks, the funding for lending scheme, obviously quantitative easing. Um, you know, I think we were reasonably innovative in looking for ways uh, to try and get the economy back on an even keel. Charlie Bean, thank you very thank much you. for submitting yourself to this security grilling. You're very welcome.